Hello and welcome back to Andrew's Tabletop Gaming. Today we've got something a little bit different. Um, I purchased some Pokemon stuff, cards and toys off of um, uh, Facebook, a uh, selling page and we're just going to go through it. I haven't been through all of it. I had a quick look when I went around the house um, to uh, pick it up um, and it looks cool. Um, so let's have a look at what I actually got. So firstly, I got a Pokemon Annual 2007 um, and I was sort of thinking this is going to be um, probably trashed. There's a little nick in the front, but and a bit of corner wear, as you can see in there. But apart from that, it looks absolutely minty. Um, inside, you know, a lot of these you get, they've got little puzzles and things, and kids have written all over them. Um, but that doesn't seem to be what's happened here. This is in pretty good nick. So, and some more Pokemon stuff. Some pictures from the animated series. And again, so, yeah, pretty cool. Going up to 288. Pokemon in here. So, very nice. The second book I got was this 10th anniversary Pokemon. Over 380 Pokemon in here. Collector's Edition. Complete Pokedex. I have never seen this before. Um, and again, it seems to be in very, very good order. Exclusive artwork by Ken Sugimori, Mewtwo, Charizard, Venusaur and Snorlax in there. Look at that. Shiny Charizard. Wow. That is awesome. And then you get all the essentials. Fire, ice and water. Pokemon move compatibility. Move tutor stats. Wow. Awesome. Some breeding tables, Pokemon breeding. Assume this is for the Game Boy games. Uh, alphabetical listing of the Pokedex. And then, wow. And then you get each Pokemon listed with the evolutions locations for catching them in the different types of Pokemon game. So you've got so Charmander, Ruby, Sapphire, Fire Red, Leaf Green, Colosseum, Emerald, XD. Wow, wowzers. And let's have a quick look. So these are all the Pokemon moves, all the berries sure there's other fun stuff listed so Deoxys is the last defense format and normal form and speed form and then yeah you get all the moves listed out which is really cool and I guess these are the versions of the games that were out at the time. And some game guides. So, again, extremely cool, extremely good. There's a little bit of marks on the back there. But yeah, really nice. It also came with a poster which I will show you so this is in good condition this was in the uh, in the actual 
So it goes through the timeline from 1996 all the way through to 2006. And on the back, you have a 10 years of Pokemon all in one guide. The best way to catch, breed, evolve, and trade your Pokemon. Absolutely awesome. That will probably, unless I get a silly offer, stay in my collection. So we'll stick that in there and put it away. Okay, the other things I got. Uh, which way around should we do it? Let's get this. This had a few sheets of Pokemon cards in it and all these bits and bobs, obviously the condition, these sort of transfer sort of things, you know, unless you're uh, really looking after them, then uh, they're going to they're gonna fade and wear. This is obviously hard played condition, <laughs> but we've got some absolutely gold inside. This is, this is awesome. So have a look at this. We have poker chips with Pokemon on them. Let's um let's get this stuff out because we don't really you know the, the clips on this folder still work. Which is nice. There was three sheets in there loose which I've um, removed and we'll show you later. So zip still works as well. So yeah, let's firstly, let's go through the poker chips. We have Surviper, who gets a shiny one, which is very nice. We have Cacturn. So it's got an attack and a defense value on there. So I'm assuming this was part of some sort of game. The mythical Jurachi with 100 and 100. Come at me, brah. Yes, Jurachi. Shooting for the top. Illumise. Very nice. Shed Ninja and Machop. And all these are all in fairly good condition. There's one that isn't, unfortunately. We have the Latias one, which is obviously all silvered. And some of the sil, as you see, some of the silvering is starting to wear off, but still very cool. And let's just uh, run through some of the other characters. Marel, and we've got Lombre. Baltoy, Loudred, Shubit, Karelia, uh, Karelia, Minun, or Pusil, sorry, I think that is, Cedra, and an Aaron. Very cool. So let's stick these over here. So I've got 16 of them. Unless there's more under here that I've, I've missed. We have, I'll put those to one side for a sec. We have all of these tags. We seem to have two different sets. So we'll go through a few of these <laughs> because we've got cards to look at. So we have, there are like hundreds literally hundreds of these um, so let's have a quick look through some of them we've got Loudred, Torkoal, Mewtwo, Quilava, Bayleaf, uh, Pikachu and all the fronts look in fairly decent condition looks like the coat in the protective coating they've got on the front Seems to keep them in pretty good condition, but 
If you look on the backs, it's not bad. It's not bad. So this is number 25 of the metal tags. The information on the back, as you see, this one is completely worn away. Or is this one? It's still okay. So as you can see, Pikachu is very small. I'm assuming the other thing is weight. Um, yeah, not sure. But one's Manectric and one's Pikachu. And we have my favorite Pokemon, Charmander, which seems in worse condition than the rest, which is typical. Yeah, there are loads of those, absolutely loads. I'll go through them all sometime. And we have this set, which is slightly different because there seems to be two tags for each Pokemon. We've also got a lovely Groudon keyring, which is very nice with a Pokemon tag on it, which is cool. But these look like they're much better quality. So as you can see on one of the tags, you get the name and the number of the, uh, and they're dated, so 1998. So these are probably early. And then the other is the Pikachu. So you seem to get two. I've, again, I've not seen this version of them. Um, so yeah, these are really, really cool. Um, and we've got Pikachu, we've got Charmander, we've got a Zubat, a Machop, a Clefable, oh no, sorry, Wigglytuff, and a Bulbasaur. So yeah, very, very nice. And that goes in the pile, we'll sort them out later. And so what we'll do, move this to one side. And we'll go through these. And these are called WAPs, I believe. Yeah. This is tied together in knots. Should have uh, looked at this first. Um, I, this is what I basically went round to buy. Um, they had a box set of WAPs and those two books that I was going to go around and purchase. It wasn't until um, the evening before I was going to go around that they contacted me and said they had a load of Pokemon cards. And I was like, whoop whoop, very nice. So let's get these out of this wash bag and let's have a look what we've got in here. So these are WAPs there. I believe they are a game. And you can use them to build towers if you... I will show you the box in a minute because I do have the storage containers. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh my god, Yu-Gi. You spoiled the party. Let's go. So, that's Yu-Gi-Oh. That is Yu-Gi-Oh. So, let's quickly get all the Yu-Gi-Oh ones out because as much as I like Yu-Gi-Oh... This is an Yu-Gi-Oh video. Uh, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, quite a few of these are Yu-Gi-Oh. So that's cool. Pokemon, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, so in the little bag, we only have one, two, three, seven of them are Yu-Gi-Oh. Most of them were um, Yu-Gi-Oh, but we don't care because we have this a box. <sighs> Look at this. Okay, it's not in the best condition, but you know, it's Pokemon stuff. 2003 trademark on here so you know it's 17 years old so you know um so and the box is in fairly good condition there's a little bit of uh, the peel at the top you know but no real major dings or tears if you have a look on the back 
it's like you go build a tower throw your stuff at it so it's no wonder some of these maybe are not in the best of condition and also you know build towers with your stuff as well very cool so we will stick those over there we will get the box out the box is actually in worse condition than the outside cardboard so the plastic box as you can see is just about make out the WAPs written on there and it's a storage box and it's double sided and there's two of them so you get on one side so let me pop this open You get one side that flicks down and then you can close that back up again if your clips are still working and then you flip it over to the other side and then this one, this one. so the clip on the back for the is slightly damaged but yeah very very cool so let's go through a few of them see what we pick out see which ones so straight off the bat this my low tech one see-through sparkly very very cool obviously you get sort of shiny ones so we've got shiny del catty there Um, anything else in there that we should look at? Um, oh, yeah, we've got a Kyoga. Very, very nice, shiny purple Kyoga. So that's very cool. So we'll put that back, clip that one down if we can. Have a look in this side. Anything of note oh yeah we have another we have Absol and all these are in you know fairly good condition I don't think they've been beaten around too much I think these were bought as collectibles for a child and that's what they've been used for so that's that box I'm wondering if these seven down here are actually um, doubles of what's actually in the box so this box is in slightly better condition so anything in here we've got Waylord and we've got these two what I guess are Team Magma trainers So we don't, and there's no, you know, there's cool stuff in here like Brock, which we don't have, unfortunately. There's a Whale Lord. So I will look on the other side. This is the first time I've actually gone through this, like, with any interest. So Pikachu. I only got these this morning. So yeah, very nice. Pikachu, nice and shiny. Uh, we have Registeel. Mm, anything else? A uh, Salamence, a uh, Raichu, very nice. And a uh, Rayquaza, orange Rayquaza, sparkly Rayquaza, which is very, very nice. Stick him back in there. And yeah, so. Very nice. All, all very nice stuff. All right, let's make it. Let's leave these on here, but make a bit more space. Yu-Gi-Oh. You can go over there, um, and let's get on with the cards. So, what am I going to do first? Um, tin. So, I know a lot of these tins get faked, and this is trashed anyway. So, it's probably not worth anything, even if it was real. So. Let's go through what cards we've got on this switch and over there. 
Um, obviously, a lot of cards are faked. I'm no expert in what's fake and what's not. I'm just going to go through, have a quick look, and see what I feel is real or not. So, all of these pretty much, they're not, not all as bad as this one, but they're all pretty much heavy played condition. Um, so, like, that's Charmeleon from the base set. Um, yeah, you know. I'm sure it's worth something to somebody. Um, there's a far-fetched card. Looking at it with the naked eye, and not like I said, not knowing that much, I would say that's a real card. It looks cool. We have a reverse Cubone. Again, the quality is, you know, I've seen much, much worse. Uh, some supporters, so three supporters in a row, all called Rival. A Dark Machoke, which is quite cool. A Nido King, Delta Species, which is in fairly good condition. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm no expert, I don't know if this is actually a legit card or not uh, to, to me it looks awesome you know this is a fake card no let's um let's not worry too much a reverse murkrow which is one of the e-reader cards the e-reader cards all came with stuff up another side so i'm assuming this is a fake card i've never seen e-reader cards with just the stripe on the bottom so I'm assuming that is fake. Well, um, there's an Absol. Again. Looks pretty good. Like I said, I'm no expert in the in the sets either. So we've got Professor Elm's Method, Charmander from Rocket, a Dark Charizard from Rocket, non hollow. That does. You know? Okay. Got Groudon EX. Plenty of wear on top of that one, but still all cool. Dark Jolteon, Tyranitar, an Electrode from Jungle, I believe. It's pretty heavy played. A Lumberry from EX Emerald. Graveler, a Dark Tyranitar. Again, you know, these cards all look pretty good, to be honest. A promo Pikachu from the film. The first movie. Dark Houndoom. Yellow Cheeks Pikachu from base set. Looks like it's been eaten by the dog in one corner. Another Pikachu, another Pikachu, another Pikachu, Raichu from Fossil, Meganium EX, uh, Infernape X, a, a Champ, all of them first edition. Don't know what version this one is because I know you get two different hollow foil patterns. This one's been put in the sleeve. Still has some whitening on the edges and corners. So, but yeah, you know, it's not too bad. A Dusk Noir. Oh, I see. All right, World Championships 2006. So, Steelix EX. 
and dusk noir x. So pretty cool. Okay, so that was the first pile. We're up to 25 minutes on this video well, so, as well, so I'll probably just rush, I'll show you the folder. So, OG folder. And it has some cards in it as well. So we have a nine tails uh, in there. A couple of blossom. These cards are, you know, these cards are this blossom looks like it's been eaten by something, so they're not quite a cool togepi. Um, so just because they're in this folder doesn't mean that they're actually in the best of conditions. Um, so yeah, and it does. There doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason what they put in the folder. So it is just a quite a lot of random stuff. Another togepi smoochum. So we've got. Armor Star from Fossil and Stami from the base set. Um, a Blaziken, which is quite cool. Um, some Energy, another one that looks like it's been eaten by something. A Typhlosion, I think we had a couple of them. That looks like it's a shiny Celio with a cool. Let's have a look at that one. It's got quite a cool. Um, Quite a cool background to the. Uh, uh, Hollow fall on that is a legit lovely, like very nice, and it's not actually in that bad a condition. You know, there's a, you know, this has been. I'm pretty sure this was like a, a younger collector who was probably taking these to school. So we've got an e-reader tentacrawl, Phoebus, Rounce, a combustion that looks like it might be gone through the washing machine and is also a fake. So yeah, yeah. this front sort of peeling off again. This actually says it's an e-reader card but doesn't have any e-reader to read. So, so yeah, so the folder is in not too bad a condition. The seams, you know, you've got some peeling here, but all the inside looks good. You know, again, it's, you, know, you find a lot of this stuff with names written in it and all sorts. So, yeah. You know, not too unhappy with that. So I'll show you what else I got. Like that as well. And last but not least, the sleeves that were in the other folder. So yeah, so I'll have to go through all of these, some nice Pikachu stuff there, these energy cards look very nice. And what else have we got? We got some evolution lines there. Yeah, very cool. So I've still got two tins of stuff to go through. I'm probably going to do them on another day. Um, probably do another video of just going through these and maybe opening some product. Um, so thanks for watching. Hit the like button. If you want to see more of this stuff, I'll try and hunt down some more uh, cool Pokemon stuff, toys, etc. Um, join the channel, hit the bell, and uh, you'll be able to see more and more of this stuff. Thank you once again. Goodbye.